Now, a once vibrant city brought to its knees in what New Zealand's Prime Minister has called his country's darkest hour. A powerful 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit the New Zealand city of Christchurch on a busy lunchtime, leaving many buildings as little more than rubble. Emergency teams have been working through the night to find survivors, and while the official number of victims is 38, it is feared the real figure will be far higher. With dozens more people still missing, some voices in the rubble, our science correspondent Tom Clark reports. In the centre of Christchurch, some buildings are snapped in two, others reduced to rubble. It doesn't matter where they stood or what they stood for. The quake struck at lunchtime, caught on camera inside this person's home. We have someone checking on the building. If you're hitting down this way, can you instruct the fire fight? Workers downtown were caught in collapsing office blocks or in rubble outside on their way back to their desks. Lunch hour turned to terror in an instant. It's my building. That's our work. That's your work, please. I hit with the table, you know, the table in the restaurant. Uh, yeah, and two, three people just fallen on me. Yeah, so. The landmark cathedral was continuing to collapse after the shaking stopped, as if nerves weren't shattered enough. It's just huge. It is huge. And, um, you know, the building's a building, so the really important thing are the people, and uh, we just don't know if there are people under this rubble. I fear there are. This large office block collapsed on itself. OK, just stay away from the end. The stranded were rescued by fire crews or their colleagues. Others were busy rescuing themselves. There's a bit of a drama knocking out the window and then they're sailing staff down the side of the building, but the stairwell is completely gone. 17 storeys with just both sets of stairs gone. So it's just a great gaping chasm. And then there were the aftershocks, bringing down more buildings softened up by the initial blow. In the nearby town of Sumner, a veteran's hall is lost beneath a landslide. This giant rock has just fallen on the RSA building and uh, you can see it's crushed the, the building there. Sitting on the boundary of the Pacific and Australian tectonic plates, New Zealand straddles a giant geological fault which runs under the capital Wellington and down the South Island. A series of smaller faults pass near Christchurch. In September, there was a large 7.1 magnitude quake here, 40 kilometres from the city, which caused major damage, but no one was killed. Last night's quake was 11 times less powerful at 6.3 magnitude, but its epicenter was much closer to Christchurch and just four kilometers underground, the extreme shaking that resulted causing massive destruction. New Zealand's Prime Minister described this as the country's darkest day. In the last few hours, he confirmed the official death toll of 38 would inevitably rise. The number of bodies that have been sighted and the number of people that are missing, um, the police indications to me are that there is uh, they're, well, they're not in question about the 65 number. They're just not quite sure where the number will finally settle. Can you call out to us, please? Voices can still be heard in the rubble of many buildings. Working through the night, rescuers have freed more than 100. Extra teams are now on their way from Australia, the UK and elsewhere, while there's still time to save more.